we also have a, a, a more recent initiative called the Returning Citizen Scheme, which is designed to attract and engage those unfortunate people who have been within the criminal justice system, very often made by mistake, are continually being expected to pay for it. And we certainly believe in the whole concept of rehabilitation. Um, we have a number of returning citizens, which is our phrase or our terminology for ex-offenders. We want our members and we want the general public in point of fact to be far more aware of the necessity to look at the individual rather than look at what they may have done. And the ex-offender term has largely become pejorative that forces people to look at what they did yesterday. And for our members and for our industry, it's far more important to focus on what that person says they want to be today and tomorrow. Barriers I faced coming out of prison were just as anyone else coming out of prison. I mean, you're tied with a, with a brush of negativity. You know, you're seen as this person who has been shunned from the community. And people are reluctant to give you a chance. People are reluctant to accept you into their place of work, place of business, out of fear. Fear or intimidation. And the fact of the matter is, it's not like that. I'm not like that. Most ex-offenders, and I say ex-offenders for a reason, because they say you do the crime, you do the time. So once you've done your time, once you have been punished, and I think that punishment is enough, then you are an ex-offender. As long as you are no longer engaging in offending behavior, who's to call you an offender? I was in prison myself uh, for a couple of years. And with my local church, I start going and volunteer to prisons. I'm in a London prison, what calls Ones or Scraps every Sunday and I'm helping people, um, talking to them, kind of mentoring them. And every time I mention scaffolding, they're really excited about it. This first month when the people coming out from prison is very crucial, what they're gonna do, you know? So at least if we're gonna get them ready for something, they will be able to stick with a plan. I always say to the people in prison, you're never gonna have that much time off in your life. So use this wisely, you know, think what you wanna do and stick with a plan when you're outside. You know, what I would say is, is a common, you know, misconception with, with, that's held against most ex-offenders is that they're, they're vagabonds, they, they are, they're lazy, they, they don't, they don't want to do things the right way. No, it's, it's, it's not that, it's that ex-offenders, offenders, people of offending behaviour, lack patience. And it's not just a case of them having patience, it's also a case of other people having patience with them. The thing about Star Scaffolding is that not only have I been patient with them, but they have allowed me to do so by being patient with me. We know that our employers, first and foremost, are employers and shouldn't be expected to be specialists in social care. So any of the candidates that we refer through the Returning Citizen Scheme will be um, individuals who our employers can be assured have been given the most thorough scrutiny and assessment by the NESC and those um, partner organisations and will have that ongoing support for as long as it's required um, once they are recruited by an NASC member. All the NASC member essentially has to do is to offer a guaranteed interview um, in the knowledge that we will have undertaken that strict assessment. Sometimes people just need a chance in life. We've employed lots of different types of people that needed a chance at JMAC where nobody else would give them that opportunity. We take that risk and think, you know, like you've got like bold, raw talent there. Somebody just needs to steer them in the right direction, give them an opportunity. So we've had guys that have been rehabilitated from prison that we've took on and they're now fully qualified scaffolders been with us sort of like from the beginning, 10 years. I think what you get back from that is you get loyalty and you get integrity and you get trust because no one else would give them that opportunity and you did they'll then pay you back tenfold so i think as an industry as well i think we're, we're perfect for it scaffolding we are perfect for rehabilitating offenders and you know people leaving prison in scaffolding industry we've got uh, many people who used to be in prison and they quality workers um, as you know everyone has deserve a second chance in life so I think there's no doubt that the company is going to be able to employ people who are coming out from prison. Especially they are big boys because everyone is training over there, going to the gym and trying to show off. So show me your skills and how, show me how hard you can work. So yeah, I think it's a great idea and the com all the companies are going to be very blessed if they're going to be uh, able to employ people like that.
when somebody says to you, I'm going to give you a chance, it warms your heart. It gives you hope as an ex-offender that you can go back into society. You can have a job. You can make money without having to do bad things for it, without having to scam, cheat, whatever it may be, whatever it is that's, that's led a person down that road. There is another way. There is a safe and morally correct way to be a financial success and not only financial, I mean, the gratification that you get from doing physical work like scaffolding, you're earning your own money, you're building a life. For years, I think our industry has been very good offering people second chances. So it made sense for us to, you know, to stick our heads above the parapet, hopefully be an example to other sectors as well. But first and foremost, to be able to access an incredible pool of talent that exists within um, that demographic. We're very excited about it. We're having immense success on that already. And we've only been sort of working on the returning citizen scheme for about three, four months. So by the end of this year, watch this space.